Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're going to work on this basket kind of bowl, plate, I don't even really know what to call it. I guess I'm going to call it a basket because it is a basket weave and it does have like an indentation like it's a basket. I'm going to finish this off. This has been in my stash for a while. I started painting it. I think it was the Waverly Paint uh, plaster color and now I'm taking antique wax and going over it to darken it to make it uh, match the paper that I had just showed you. Um, so I'm just going to paint it on and then just wipe it back and get some variations in the color, antique it, make it look old. And there we go. There it is. came out really nice. I really like the look of this. So this is a uh, scrapbook paper that I got out of a big packet of paper. I'm not sure where I got it either. It's I've had it for a really long time. But anyway, I flipped the basket over and just kind of rubbed the edges to find uh, the right size I wanted and I cut out the circle. And I just glued that down inside. Now I'm just going to glue this um, popsicle stick. I think I got a pack of them from Dollar Tree a long time ago. So I'm gluing that down so I have a nice straight edge to put these little um, Christmas ornaments. I got these recently from a family member who was cleaning out her Christmas items and she asked if I wanted them and I said sure I'm sure I can find something to do with them. So I got a few boxes of ornaments and different things. So I picked out a few and I grabbed a piece of green garland that I had and cut a chunk of it off and now I'm trimming one of the branches just to make it look like a little tree. So I'm just going uh, up towards the top and making it smaller as you would uh, a little Christmas tree. So I took some of the plaster paint and I went over the tree and gave it a little bit of a, a white brush uh, over the top to make it look kind of like it snowed. And now I'm going to take these little wooden ornaments and I'm going to stick them onto my popsicle stick. Now you're not going to be able to see this popsicle stick when it's uh, all done. Um, I just wanted a flat surface for them to sit on. So I did it this way. And so now I'm just going to fluff up my little tree and I'm going to put that in there. I'm just going to hot glue that on. There we go. And of course, fluffing and giving haircuts here and there. And then I have this little uh, ceramic, I think it's a little ceramic deer that was also part of the uh, stuff that I got given to me. And I thought that would look really cute sitting under the tree. And then this other little wooden guy, um, I don't know, he was just a little ornament. And so I thought I would use him and have him glued on there. Now I had to use quite a bit of glue on that one because it wasn't a lot touching the paper. So he was standing kind of strangely. So um, I just used a lot of different glue on there to get him to stay in place. So I'm taking that piece of garland that I had cut the little tree that I made off and I'm just rearranging it and cutting it because I'm going to make kind of a little swag of these branches to put across the bottom so that I can decorate them. So I just cut off the pieces and put them together and then I'm just going to wire them with some floral wire. I mean, you could use whatever, but I had floral wire and it's green so you can't see it. And I just wrap it around so it's nice and tight. So once I got it the way I liked it, I am taking some hot glue and I'm just going to glue it down to the bottom. That's going to cover up my ornaments a little bit and the popsicle stick they're sitting on. And then I'm going to take some plaster paint and uh, just kind of do a little brush over the top of it. It kind of dulls back that green just a little bit, makes it look like it's snowed, uh, just gives it a little bit of a more festive look. I I could use 
like some spray and some glitter, but I just don't want glitter everywhere. <laughs> I did buy a, a couple of glitter trees from Dollar Tree, and that's all I found is glitter everywhere ever since I bought that. So I'm going to take some jute rope and go around the edges of the inside of the basket where the paper is just to make it look a little more finished and I'm glad I did because I think it looks so so good. Here is the uh, heirloom Christmas it is called and it's a big packet of uh, paper and these tags and I want to cut out this Merry Christmas tag. I thought the little ornaments looked kind of like little kids and I thought this little tag looked very much like a little kid had written it. So I thought it would go really nicely on my basket. I want to make a bow for my over my greenery on the bottom of my basket. So I'm just crossing these over and making sure I have a little bit of a tail on each side. And then I'm just going to scrunch it up in the middle and take some of my jute rope that I had left over. And I'm going to tie the middle of it. This is a really easy bow to make very simple and it looks so good and I love this wired ribbon because it makes it so easy to fluff it up and it just stays where you want it to stay. Now I was going to cut the tails off this jute rope but I decided I was going to keep it and unravel the edges. Uh, if you unravel them there's typically three layers there of the jute twine that's kind of braided together and I'm going to leave them hanging down and then I'm going to trim them in kind of an upwards motion so that I have different lengths. And I got these little glitter balls from Dollar Tree, I believe. And I'm just going to take each one and glue a different color. I think it's gold and red. So I'm going to kind of just glue them on so that they're different lengths and heights. And just make it look kind of cool hanging down, kind of like bells. Um, I thought this would look really neat and add something to the bottom of the basket. So I did the other one as well, and I'm glad I did it. I really like this. I don't think I got video of it, but I did take a popsicle stick and put it on the back of my Merry Christmas sign, and I stuck it so onto the basket so it stood up just a little bit and above that I'm making a um, just a kind of a little stack of the different glittery balls that are there so I just took a few of them and stuck them down and just to bring some interest to the top of the basket as well then I have some of these tiny little pine cones and I'm going to glue some of these down to the greenery on the bottom to and again give it a little interest and something else for your eye to see. I had taken a rusty bell and stuck that at the top of my little tree in the middle there as well and just kind of bringing in some interest here and there. I did have two baskets. I only showed you one how I decorated it. The other one was already started. I used a little bit of a different background and some different decor, but it basically is the same thing. I had this little crate in my stash for a while. I don't even know where I got it. Looks like somebody might have spray painted it some gold color and made it look so distressed. But uh, I picked it up somewhere and I want to do something with it. So I am going to sand it down just a little bit. It has some rough pot spots on it. I'm going to take some Waverly Green paint in the color Moss and brush it on and give it a little bit of color. I really like the stained look but I wanted to give it a little bit of a green color as well for the holidays.
Unfortunately, I thought I was videoing when I put this paper on, but I was not. So I'm just going to explain what I did here. I took a calendar from Dollar Tree. This is the farmer's market one, and I went all the way down to December, and I got the season's greetings with the truck, and I ripped that out of the calendar, and I Mod Podged it onto the bottom of my box. And I also uh, added some greenery on there to uh, so that I could use it as a place to put some decorations. But I'm just showing you how cute some of these pictures are on here uh, on the calendar. They've got some really cute pictures. So I there's the greenery that I put on. I glued that on there. I cut a piece of jute rope the correct length that I wanted it because I have these fairy lights and I really wish I had the warm white lights but I don't have any so I'm going to be using what I have left which is these cool blue ones so they're supposed to be white or cool white color I guess is what they are and they're supposed to be a white color but I always see blue when I see it so and I have a hard time putting it on uh, some of my decorations because I really like the warm white color the yellowish color But anyway, I wrapped it around the the jute rope uh, All the way around and now I'm going to glue the rope down to the corners to cover up the edges of this uh, calendar piece or calendar paper now I have to uh, say that the Lights that I used are the wired lights. They're not the plastic coated. So make sure that you're using the wire. Uh, the plastic coated might melt. I have never tried, but I'm thinking that they might melt. So I'm just building up on my greenery at the bottom. I have some different little sprigs of green and I wanted to put some different colors in there. So I added that. And then I have some pine cones that I got from just from the ground. I had put them uh, in the oven for a little bit to open them up and now I'm going to use them in some of my decor. I got a bunch of them. They're so cute. So now I'm taking some just from my stash. I have some red uh, or burgundy-ish colored flowers and I'm just going to stick those in for some color. And this was in my uh, stash of stuff that I got from the family member with the old decorations. So I wanted to use that because I think it's really pretty. It's a nice pop of green and red and I'm going to put in some more of these this different colored greenery and just add it where I feel like it needs it. I got this basket at Goodwill for four dollars and there's not a lot wrong with it. It's got a couple little dings in it, a little spot where a little bit of the basket is missing, but basically it just needs a good cleaning up and it's a great basket. I got this coffee pot at an estate sale and I couldn't pass it up. It was just a couple dollars and it was a beautiful red color and I knew it would be great in a vignette for Christmas or the holidays. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a good just clean. It needs a nice wiping and uh, I'm going to use it in a in the basket and make a little vignette for you and show you how I'm going to style it. I'm going to use this black and red table runner as a little bit of pop of color on the outside of the basket going to put this mason jar in there for a little height for my coffee pot. I have this really beautiful flocked garland that I want to use and around the top of the basket my red teapot and a little white blanket to go in the basket. I found these two coffee cups at the local dump and I have a little gnome that I want to sit in there for a little bit of fun that my friend made. I'm taking some white fairy lights 
and I'm going along the outside and inside just weaving it in and out of the basket and around my items. Taking a little bit of greenery and stick it in the back for some height and a pop of color and adding a few pine cones and it's finished. I hope you enjoyed my Christmas projects today. Let me know down in the comments if you have a favorite. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. We're just getting started with the craft and fun. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.